What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Smash here, and welcome back to this week at Bungie Review for the 12th day of November. First, I want to start by wishing everybody a happy Beyond Light launch. If you guys are like me, I have not been sleeping very much because I've been sucked into this damn expansion for the last couple of days. And confirm that as of this video, I am at soft cap. And I can also confirm that playing against hunters and warlocks in PvP with stasis is an absolute travesty. Then again, playing against anybody with stasis in PvP is an absolute travesty. I absolutely hate it. It's a clown fiesta. But anyways, we're going to get into this twab. There's really not that much to talk about considering, well, Beyond Light launched. That's pretty much the biggest thing right now now. So there's not going to be many changes going on at the moment. But as of Friday, it does look like Trials of Osiris is getting a pass this week. And it looks like the week of November 27th is when Trials of Osiris will make a return. And it also looks like Iron Banner is going to get pushed back as well. Most of the Iron Banner stuff I'm hearing about is rumors though. So do not take my word for it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it took me about four and a half to five hours of good old gameplay to get through the campaign. And I got to say, I actually enjoyed the campaign. The flow was really nice. It was super easy to follow and it felt pretty rewarding. Then again, not being able to cosmetically make my titan look very good is kind of annoying but traveling around on europa with the homies was a lot of fun and getting stuck in those blizzards was a pain in the ass how long did it take you guys to finish the campaign please let me know in the comment section now aside from some of the 4k background goodies that we got there are a few things we do want to mention here so listen up so right now it looks like rose and where the horde have been removed from the game temporarily during the midweek updates bungie announced that earlier this week we disabled the rose hand cannon from use due to its rpm still being 150 instead of 140 this issue will be resolved in a future update so for anyone that was looking forward to using rose you're gonna have to wait i will say it's been kind of nice not having to see whether horde and pvp but i do feel bad for the PvEers out there that were using it in strikes and lost sectors and all that good stuff but i'm sure you guys will get that back in a couple of days so be patient now for the special people out there that got their hands on a new 3000 series gpu from nvidia it looks like the nvidia reflex is compatible with destiny 2 today. Destiny 2 on PC now supports integration with the NVIDIA Reflex SDK for compatible graphics cards. This improves responsiveness and reduces click-to-display latency. Players can tweak their experience by following the directions in our NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency Guide. I remember when this was announced during the NVIDIA panel, and this is also something that's a topic of discussion between me and my own fire team, where we kind of go back and forth between the benefits of NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards. And I know for a lot of people that are in the FPS spectrum, this low reflex system is kind of nice. Now, I haven't had a chance to try it out myself since I'm using older G GPU tech. And to be totally honest, I'm actually looking forward to getting myself some AMD technology. I'm going to try something different this time around. So if any of you that have used the NVIDIA Reflex tech, please let me know. I'm actually very curious how it works. Now, one important update for anyone that's looking to get into Beyond Light and you still haven't migrated from Battle.net, you're going to want to listen up. The PC migration in Battle.net is ending soon. Beginning on December 1st, 2020 at 9 a.m. PST, Blizzard's Battle.net accounts will no longer be available for users to log in with on Battle.net or the Destiny Companion app. Nor will users be able to migrate their Battle.net accounts to Steam. So make sure if you guys are looking to get in to Beyond Light, or you're looking to jump back into Destiny if you've been absent for a couple of months or even a few years, this is very important. So make sure you migrate your accounts before it goes away. Users who only have a Battle.net account linked to their Bungie profile are strongly encouraged to either link another platform to their profile or to perform PC migration to Steam. Make sure you guys get on top of that, for real. I mean, there's really not much else to talk about here. I think everyone is so super focused on getting their light level up and getting ready for that damn raid next week. Now, I'm sure this upcoming TWAB is going to be a little bit more juicy considering there's probably going to be a lot of bugs that were fixed over the last week and Bungie collecting as much data as they can with the release of Beyond Light. I, for one, will be focusing on a couple of things in PvP and make sh making sure that I'm getting ready for that raid because I really don't have much of a choice. I got to get ready for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. What's your favorite part of Beyond Light so far? How are you guys liking Stasis? And how about Europa? Isn't it beautiful? That's going to do it for me this week, folks. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to come back for some more. And I'll see you guys next week for the TWAB review. Peace.